Alright, we got Bacon Man 12, win rate of 33%. First join in MT16, finished 97th. Best placement of 33rd during MT17. That's a pretty pretty solid improvement. Then we have 1UP, win rate of 43%, finishing 33rd in MT16 when they first joined. So we got some, some even racers here. Bacon Man 12 skills uh, expert at rolling balls and painting. We can only hope that they will come into play here. One up skills? It's a mystery. Let's see, who'd they fight to get here? It's an excellent Alright, Bakeman 12 fighting Ridley Dragon and Frogger 2, Swampy's Revenge. And losing to someone 325 and Wreck It Ralph. One up fighting Parasite Steve and losing in Little Magic. But then winning against that scar in the pretty cure game that I'm not going to say the entire name of. <laughs> Alright, what about our next match, please? We have Yuge, win rate of 50%, first showing MTX, finishing 257th, but then finishing in 25th in MT17. Now there's an improvement. Uh, a PC Engine fanatic, self-proclaimed. Then we got Scurred, win rate of 40%, first joining in MT8, finishing 129th. Then best placement of 49th in MT11. Here's the matches. Alright, Yuge fighting Aspion and winning in Cube. Then losing against Callback in Moaikun. Then Scurred, losing to Bright Shadow and Furious Golf. This is a, a pretty good match, I think. Furious Golf is a lot better when the game runs more than twice as fast. <laughs> was it? Was that what was happening during that race? Uh, we raced this in MT15, 14, something like that, and the game is frame rate dependent, so it ran twice as fast for me, but you don't notice it because regularly the game is really slow. Cool. Interesting. Let's have a look at this game. Right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Today we have Donkey Kong King of Swing for the Game Boy Advance. Our goal is to beat World 2. Just, just assume someone has audio. Sounds like audio. That's definitely sounding like menu audio. Excited for this. Donkey Kong games are known for having good music. Whoa, whoa. Look, he's happy to be here. Alright. Do we have a paste bin? No. No paste bin exists. Unless we get lucky. Ah, thank you, Mercy. Beat me to it. All right. So, controls are uh, D-pad movement, LR grab. I think this is the game where you like you rotate a lot around the things. Like you you hold onto a pack with your hand, and then you rotate around that hand until you grab something else or let go. Sounds about right. I was thinking that was like a Wii game. Now, it's worth noting, Skirt is not on the right start point. Classic. We'll see how that comes into play later. He's finally back to King of Swing. Ooh! There. Yeah! Go. Donkey Kong! Well, they're banana medals. Giant steel bananas. Man, this menu DK is ready to go. So it seems that collecting bananas in this game gives us special abilities. Well, not special abilities. They allow us to become invincible and heal. This could really come down to, like, proper utilization of bananas. 
And we're off. Getting yelled at by Cranky to start. <laughs> this jumping sprite, man. Yeah, some races, right? We grab onto points using our hands. Let me use Eleanor to rotate around. We got a charge jump mechanic, I like it. It's a good Donkey Kong sprite. Very funny. Now taking a slow dive all the way down. Utilizing tires to bounce. Really rushing through this tutorial here on one upside because I mean it, it's all in the paste bin right That would be an impressive uh, theme for today. Be janky, portable versions of games. Here we are. There's King K. Rule taking off with DK coins. Apparently medals. Really clipping onto that platform right there on the one upside. It feels like one up and Yuge have a handle on how this game is working so far. Having taken a quick lead over their opponents. Oh, but then Yuge bounces off the end platform. Oh no, one up taking a taking a long tumble. Which allows Bacon Man to not only catch up, but take the lead. Hey Myth, how you doing? Got some exciting King of Swinging going on. Okay. <laughs> I love it. So this is um this is a classic sort of like this game doesn't control like anything you've ever played before sort of game in mystery tournament which is always really fun. It it feels like no one's going to be ready for <laughs> what this game is. So you're tapping into something new here. Some primal force within you. <laughs> yeah. I think up one ups, uh, starting to get it. Bacon Man's feeling it too, as we finish the first stage. I like that right away. There's this natural sort of like, oh, L R L R, hand over hand. I get this, and then the game's like, all right, but now you can't do that anymore. We got to figure out how these flings work, and <laughs> it's been uh, a learning process. Some people have have adapted to it pretty nicely, especially like the one handed charged fling that you can do where that that other button isn't really involved in a, a hand like it's swinging free but it still is necessary to get the charge going so yeah you gotta sort of decouple that in your brain oh no <laughs> this is a tumble for you gay <laughs> i almost thought like oh this level like goes down 
this one. That's weird. But no, that, <laughs> that none of that was what they wanted to happen. Real monkey business going on. So I wonder if you're just barrel. waiting to be slowly rotated into the right angle. Nice. <laughs> There's a, a lot of, like, it, you're basically permanently operating on a cycle in this game. Like, a, you're going to be rotating around this axis, and you have some amount of control. You can kind of, with some foresight, make sure that you sort of come at the next obstacle with a, enough room to rotate as you need to or whatever. But generally speaking, there's going to be some times where you're going to be waiting for DK to line up. And so patience is uh it's gonna be critical here i think we also see on one upside uh the first use of the invincibility for bananas well, not exactly in a good spot but it's useful to now see it what that's gonna look like if they choose to use it more purposefully in the future yeah that costs 20 bananas healing a heart costs 10 and it looks like bananas are kind of a limited resource strange in a Donkey Kong game we're limited by bananas. Uh-huh. Normally they give out nanners like candy. Well, 1-Up's got an awkward charge. I don't know if you can cancel a charge. Can you, like, let go of L, maybe? Or let go of either shoulder? Uh, yeah, maybe as long as you keep one down, but let go of the other. Oh, uh, yeah, resets yeah. Resets the charge, okay. But then oh, uses but the, the tire tire bounces him into the enemy. Bacon Man clearing that level. So taking the lead in the top race. The bottom race, we got someone on the second level, and Skirt is game over. So, yeah, Yuge looking to be in the commanding position in the bottom race. I, like I don't know if the idea, pace been... Right? Go ahead. I like this idea that DK looks like he's skydiving every time he launches. He does have that spread out, sort of... That's how he falls so slowly, you see. He understands yeah. drag and wind resistance. And all that. It's like a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> you know how very... squirrels get? They flatten themselves out, so that way they have more wind resistance, and they, like, float. It really <laughs> is. The, 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 the launch and then the float afterwards. I was just thinking, like, we saw that game over screen, and I, I don't know if the pace bin really says anything explicitly about, like, lives or checkpoints or, or anything like that. It does not, but I can see. This card is invincible, just running around. Didn't really get that enemy, that, that crocodile camping those top dots. Game over, try again. The paceman does say something about this, though. Uh, for some switches in the puzzling pyramid level, you need to hold with one hand and pump with the other with good timing. Oh, speaking of good timing, Bacon Man gets out of there, lands on top of the crushing walls. In a Indiana Jones-esque escape from the crushing platform. Oh, you can charge just on the ground for a jump. That's cool. Bacon Man not interested in whatever this DK coin is. Yuge struggling with the switch. Keeps grabbing just the switch handle. You gotta pump it, pump it. Yeah, is 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 doing a full cycle every pump? Then this seems like not. I think letting go and re-grabbing also spins it. I didn't see how Bacon Man did it. You guys... Oh, there we go. You want to be rotating that way. Okay. That's true. You you are either rotating clockwise or counterclockwise, so you might need to, like, grab an even or odd number of times in order to get on the right cycle. Look at this climbing. Look at this climbing. That was good. So it looks really punishing if you get sent back. Skirt hasn't gotten back to the purple caves I saw them at ever since the game over. Whatever happened was pretty punishing, I think. Oh, 
Yuge now moving on to the contraption caves as well. Bacon Man at one health. Bacon Man cannot heal. Does not have enough mana to do so yet. It's just short two. There's one right up there. It's tease. Oh, it's gonna kill the bat. Nine bananas out of ten. Doctor's recommend. Nine bananas out of ten. Recommend that you eat apples instead of bananas. Oh, this this rotator rotates the dots. Cool. Some cool level design stuff happening in this game. There we go. We got ten bananas. But will Bacon Man heal? Does yeah. heal. There it is. I would really not remember rotating which way brings me which way. One up having some switch trouble. <laughs> Just recognizing like this doesn't feel right. Skirts in the pyramids. Bacon Man. Moving on to Kongazuma's castle. That's a... That's boss. Like, it's a stage and a half lead or something. Takes it's a quick like, death. Probably, probably a good idea, honestly. Yeah, your health doesn't refill between stages. That's kind of mean. 1-up-40 is cycling the wrong way still on this switch. I mean, the timing is good. It's hitting the switch every single time, but... That, bl that wall is not moving. So now, how do you damage? Just Keeps charging it. In. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a headbutt in half. She's Jeez. just looking at you like, what are you doing up there? I don't hope, sure hope you don't. Ow! My face! You hit me in my eye, you stupid Kong. He jumped pretty high. One up struggling on the switch. Yuge's gonna. Oh, th was, uh, did not release both buttons at the same time, I think. And thus did not headbutt charge the rat. Yeah, this totally does feel like an evolution of Crazy Climber. Oh no! <laughs> The dash did not last long enough. Bake him in. Bites the banana. I think I see one up trying to get onto the switch with the other hand. Whoop. Just burned 20 of their bananas going invincible mode. I wonder. Oh, you rotate faster. Or do you? I genuinely you wonder if you can invincibility crush damage. <laughs> then just zip up to the top. Yeah. Some sort of disgusting Mega Man zip. <laughs> Bacon Man's got this boss half defeated. Good to re-grab. He's facing him head on. <laughs> Something <laughs> really menacing about DK <laughs> crawling down towards the boss. Commando DK. <laughs> One up's got this thing open. Skirt. This appears to be world two. This is gonna be a really quick race. <laughs> I mean, I could see it getting a lot harder, a lot more punishing if you fall. Not a lot of things to grab on the way down. Oh, this Throwing is interesting. Rocks. into the exit, Yuge into the boss fight, also leading by a fair bit, stage and a half or so, and it's Skurd's turn to figure out the switch. <laughs> that buzzard is just gone when you hit it. 
serves them right, those things are annoying. <laughs> oh. You get going for the last hit. Whoa, no, the charge only lasts so long, even when you're going downwards. Bacon Man on to the second part of stage one, I believe. Now has to oh, use the rocks. rocks. Oh, gravity. gravity takes hold. <laughs> now these things are like what? One time use? Yeah. Oh, and then the barrel bumps you up. They come back. though. Thank goodness. How are you meant? Possibly throw a rock at the barrel. Oh. Or, on or. Top of it. Yeah. Oh no, misses the crab. Barrel's gone now, though. One you get waiting out the church. <laughs> Skirt's still on the switch. It seems really natural for the motion of the switch, right? Like, oh, here's a good idea to. Good chance to grab the no won't work to get it in time won't work. Won't work. okay it. i won't try then but the switch is it moves clockwise so for you to come at it clockwise with your motion and move the switch it feels natural but it's it's backwards okay just not tall enough can't reach it Goes one up. Good grab. Escaping death, I like it. Skurd's got the switch. Yuge dies again to the boss. There's still that whole contraption level before they get to the boss. Our player's on the right. I think? Yeah. So now we're in the middle of a tornado on Bacon Man's screen. <laughs> Nice little dust devil. <laughs> this kind of fits with the way that DK floats around. The treacherous twister. The uh, the Kremlin guy here. Oh, you can just kill him. Yeah, he I looks think pretty the, menacing. I think the first time when he got bacon, man. It was just outside the charges range. They aren't letting go enough. You basically fly upwards if you let go as soon as you grab. <laughs> Bacon Man almost having a tragic tumble all the way back down. I think that's going to be the final hit. Yeah, Yuge gets the boss down. Very patient, I like it. Just waiting out that jump. Bacon Man bounces off the barrel. I think wants to use it as a platform. No, it's going to break it. Big crystal coconut, whatever that's good for. I don't know. Points. It's there now. It's like, um... Crash Bandicoot gems. <laughs> what are these things we're climbing on, anyway? Little... It's like one of those, um... Oh, God, DK's lost oh, off the God. side of the screen. Oh, he wraps around. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. Oh, there he goes again. Bacon Man's Goodbye. going all the way down the level. Um, What are those, uh, those little plastic, like, fidget toys that Zoomers use? You pop them in and out. Oh, like the, the button on. things? Yeah. Yeah. One up onto the boss. Bacon Man's still enjoying a pretty good lead, even after falling all the way down. Ooh, just a bit outside for that hit, one up. I think you were right. I think you do have to use the, the barrels as platforms. This is kind of nothing else going on up there. Oh, barely gets in there. There we go.
That's really wild. Yeah, you don't you don't have to do a charge to get like a bit of lift, a bit of launch. If you just let go, DK will fling himself at least a little bit. And oh, neither no. not a single of these four players has done it, so I haven't realized it either. That's that's the worst sound that I've heard, Bacon Man. No. DK falling into the abyss on the side of the screen. Twice. <laughs> Gonna get the hit here. No, the charge doesn't come out. Okay, there it is. One hit left, but also the same for one up himself. The oh. charge from too far. Saw that one coming. You can rock to the to the buzzard <laughs> on the Ugate screen. And there's that launch. No charge necessary. I think the fact that Yuge's figured out that you can toss yourself without charging is such a huge advantage that if none of the other players figure it out, even though there's they're, they're pretty behind Bacon Man, I, they could probably catch up within World 2. It's just really strong. Wait, does the debris flying by hurt you? I don't no. think it does. The, I think that the... was just Bacon Man healing. And this, you hate to see <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, they, they turned red when they were charging, it, just when it came by. Skurred onto the boss fight. Yugi, I think, is on the level, the first level after the boss fight, so. Bottom race appears to be evening up again. Well, I thought I was gonna see Skur do more of those those launches, but uh, not so much. One up with the underhand tosses to break the blocks. Really do enjoy this hand over hand. <laughs> Climbing that DK is doing. Oh, the rocket barrel. I love it. Steered into the exit. Nice find. Bacon Man a little bit too short. Saves it, though. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Trying to adjust. If that's no! not good enough, what do you do? You have to get the momentum from the ring? Just don't go high enough. Wow. Yeah. Kind of trouble. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like the one-handed toss launches you further. <laughs> Rotating around the opposite way was real trippy. Bold. Yeah, generate some weird momentum physics. Get, oh, yeah, baby, get up <laughs> it there. It works. Oh, my goodness. That's a level complete. He's so happy. Whoa, you get surrounded by bees, angry charging. They're covered in spikes, but I bet you can hit them from the front. Yeah, there we go. Uh, looks like you can do the levels in any order, and you guys opted to do this spiky vine one. I don't think we saw this. We have not, I think. I think this is... Upper... <laughs> Look at this strat. Bacon Man is <laughs> rotating the wrong way around the switch. It doesn't matter. This is amazing. <laughs> is that the wrong way? That's not the wrong way. They on, on the second one, it was the, the wrong way, but on the first... Uh, on uh, the right way, but on the first one, it was the wrong way, and it still worked. Just powering oh. through. One up climbed way up, but has successfully gotten to the exit. <laughs> yeah, 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 there it is. I see it now. But, 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 it just just changed hands, man. I don't know. It's cool and all, but it's kind of... Mashing strats, mashing strats. Pretty hard to replicate. That's how you want to do it. But the bat! 
Scourge clipped by the boss, trapped at the bottom. Goes invincible, despite only having one heart. That's a ton of bananas, though, so, like, yeah, maybe, maybe cash in on those. But still, it's risky to do it when you've only got one heart left. One more hit on the boss. I would Could... I would invincible again right now. Yeah, that's an Just option. That's on the table. Uh okay, missed invincible, it's fine. Bounced up. <laughs> that's incredible. They have another heart also, and the boss jumps right into range of the charge, so that's a kill. Perfection. Scared will now be moving on to world two. Looks like both one up and you get went to uh Cactus land first, instead of mines. Oh, Bacon Man didn't want to operate the switch until the bat was dead, so... Took care of it, gets back on the switch. Really doesn't need to be doing it when they're rotating the correct way. It's a flex. <laughs> One up couldn't get out of the way of the bee. Uh, now we got conveyor platforms here on Bacon Man's screen. <laughs> One up is treating this like a stealth mission. I think doesn't realize you can kill the bees if you hit them in the front. Can you do that in Donkey Kong Country? Can you kill them? Not Without by just jumping at them, no. So if you've played Donkey Kong before, that, that knowledge may actually be a hindrance. Okay, Big Bacon Man gets Man up the conveyor belt. More switches. Yes. <laughs> pump up the waffle platforms and then it's like really because they're scaling it's like weird where are they actually in space which of this which part of this can i actually grab oh no doesn't go all the way back down at least This is funny. We're going to have all four players finish the goal and, and not even really, I think, appreciate one of the main movement mechanics in the game. Just the swing. That was an impressive last second jump by Bacon Man. This level one up is on with all these bees and the, the background, like the, the colors are really bright and gaudy. There's spikes everywhere, I don't know. Yeah, and there's no like real safe spots. Now Bacon Man has to go to the cactus level as well. Last level they need to complete in World 2, which is the last world in the goal. So it's this and then I assume a boss fight. Yes, you have to kill the boss of Stage 2, which is going to be a firebird of some sort. I assume a phoenix, considering we're in the desert. <laughs> Look, the phoenix rising out of Arizona. I wouldn't know anything about that. One up hit by the bee. Just does, does not really have an answer for these bees. It's gonna be really tough to catch Bacon Man at this point. Scared waiting for the dragonfly, but again, it's pretty far. This charge. It, uh, the part where you're red and actually. Oh, stops themselves by grabbing on to sort of bodily dodge the dragonfly and then kills the last one. Heading for the bonus game. I don't know about that. Look out. Maybe they just wanted the, the nanners. <laughs> How rude. Bacon Man gets double tapped. The 
Is Skirt's going for the bonus barrel instead of this arrow sign pointing to the right? Okay, it's giving up on the barrel. Probably for the, probably a good idea. Skirt, just, just saying. Sort of an interesting decision about how many bananas will you go out of your way to get? How valuable are they? I mean, the it doesn't seem like the players are super comfortable dodging dangerous attacks. So if you get to a tough boss, just having a bunch of bananas, I think, could be a, a good insurance plan. Yugi is dealing with this uh, this level so much better than Bacon Man was. Much more natural switch movement, that's for sure. There's the exit. But the bonus came though. Whee! I think One. Yuge needs to do the twister level and then can move on to the boss. One up having a lot of trouble with the dragonflies at the end of this level. This whole level in general, really. One up. Going back to the start of the level. Yuge falls all the way down the twister. <laughs> There's actually a pit at the bottom, too. If you don't land in the middle, which takes up most of the screen, you will just die. It's a rite of passage for every desert re resident that you need to fall into a pit during a dust devil. Bacon man with the clear. Never mind. One more screen. Ooh. Have we seen the end of this level? Of uh, the cactus one? Yeah. Yeah, you guys finished it. You game went there first, okay. Ooh, good charge in order to get rid of the beetle. One up with a good angle. Kill that bee. Yes. Almost goes into the spikes. Makes a wise play. Heals. We know you guys heading for that top left barrel. Oh, they tried for it. Skirt reads the sign on the arrow, heads to the right. down and bake him inside, moving on to the next section of the Cactus Woods. Same one Skirt is on, and the, the one just before the one that 1-Up is on, I think. Got a present for this bee. It's a very large ape coming at its face. Once these beetles, like, catch up to you, they're just there. They're just all up in your space. You have no no choice but to, like, leave. Reorient yourself and come back, almost like a, a helicopter or a jet fighter or something. This is, this is safe space. <laughs> you could just let the beat... Oh, they don't chase you unless you're on the thing. In fact, they're leaving. Just a nice. bit out of range there, one up. Nice catch from Bacon Man getting onto the position to hit the dragonfly, so back on this screen. One up with the game over is gonna be going pretty far back in this cactus level. Is he? It's been yeah. not doing much I, here. <laughs> I wonder. Hopefully everything's okay. Back a screen and a half or so? It is a back-to-match 
both the top and the bottom. Elimination on the line. Okay, no, that's the worst angle to fall at. <laughs> Death for Bacon Man. Scourge low on health. Up. Synchronized deaths on the top. Scourge gets a beetle right above, but then falls down. Don't go right for the beetle. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Kill that beetle. Oh, okay, wow. Cut it really close. Skirt's gonna lure them down to the bottom of the screen. Yuge is gonna try to get to the top of this twister again. Just not high enough. I don't even really know what Bacon Man did to just something like is. that. I guess he just—it's off the top one. Like, the yeah. very top point. So there's our Firebird. Fire Neki. It's like Neki, but it's on fire. What is K. Rule done to you, Neki? I would assume we can't touch Fire Neki. Then we have to do something to make it not Fire Neki anymore. Oh, throw a rock at it, I guess? Yeah, that makes sense. Fire types are weak to rock. Oh, the beetle's not got just... pincers. You can't hit him from the front. Not just fire. I think this is a four times weakness. <laughs> yeah, fire flying, you're right. Oh, I see the fireballs become the rocks. <laughs> now we're just using the rocks to hit the bird. Looks like Bacon Man is out of the woods and heading over to the boss. Looking like these races are going to get wrapped up. Skirt on the Twister has another level after this, so to do two levels and then the boss before Yuge can do the boss is a pretty tall order. And 1UP, I think, has three stages still. This one, the, the right two, yes. This bird comes at you pretty fast, and he's very big. Like, he just takes all the space on the screen. So when he comes at you, you just have to go. And you, the faster you go, the more space he will put between you and the bird. But the, the players haven't really figured out how to go fast yet. The, the only way they know to go fast is hand over hand, which is not very fast. Or the charge up launch which has a delay before they go like they they really need the swing would give them the mobility they need to get away from this bird it's a bit high there you go and i know that they can see so many of these hits coming a mile away they're like, I'm going to rotate 180 degrees, and by the time I do, I'm gonna, the bird's going to be there, I'm going to hit him, and I can see it coming, but I just don't know how to not have that happen. A bit frustrating, yeah. All right, Yuge opting for using uh, a heal. Getting up to full three hearts. Accidental tosses towards the bird. Skurd's got a whole banana horde. 
again could be really good because considering this boss is is being a real menace the, the players aren't really all that close to killing it yet no the boss is just camping them really <laughs> just perched right on top of them like they've got 40 percent of the boss's hp gone but that's only because that's how much damage you can do while trading hits with it. What a series of dodges out of Bacon Man. I'll just jump right into the bird. Uh-huh. Like the, they just gotta figure out a way to reliably get away from the bird. You guys seems to have something going here. Yeah, there it is. You guys flinging. up a little bit more and that charge is not gonna hit him oh just he came down onto the green just in range skirt gets the coconut but misses all the platforms one up's trying to skip around the beetle i wouldn't recommend that and you guys got the bird pretty low best attempt we've seen so far what a leap well, went really aggressive. Ah! The greed did not pay off. Imagine if they had some bananas. Go invincible, swing around on the, the one node with the three rocks and just throw them all at the boss. I think that Yuge missed a rock on that last swing. That might have oh. killed it. <laughs> I think it was just one more. So how does it work? Does it come after you when you hit it? It seems content to just kind of hang out and do fireballs right now for Bacon Man. Well, that was about five rocks thrown by Bacon Man, and none of them hit this gigantic bird on the screen, so that's got to feel pretty bad. Well, yeah, rock throw is a low accuracy move. Yeah. I mean, there's not, there aren't really any high accuracy rock moves. One up with the clear on the cactus stage. Two more whole stages to go. The mine and the twister. The twister in particular is a pretty hard stage. Skurd knows this all too well. <laughs> what a dunk. Oh, Skurd... Maybe gonna go for the rocks? No. The bird comes in from a diagonal, taking away all the space, tries to hide in the corner. The eye frames to go through the bird's wing with the charge. Mm. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Yuga has it. <laughs> Just yeah. an unfortunate position there at the end. This bacon Man wants more rocks. Where are they? Okay. Oh, but that bird's coming. Do you dodge? Do you, do you focus on dodging? Yeah, get here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh no. Couldn't couldn't grab the node. It was like too fast. It's the bird is coming. Drops down, smart. Is this it? That's it! Bacon Man 12 is gonna be taking the top race. Held the lead the whole way. Looked really strong out there. Yuge with a, a mid-air rock grab, and then a diving rock throw. <laughs> it's getting really comfortable. Look at this. It's showing Yuge has off, ascended. <laughs> it's just figured some stuff out. Yuge is the king of swing. <laughs> oh no, I think they wanted to keep holding. They, they, they let go of both buttons to throw. Again, that charge to escape. I'm pretty sure they clipped that wing. There, there's one more rock. Oh, the bounce off the wall goes for the rock? And it's a kill. That's the bottom race decided as well. 
Moving on in Mystery Tournament 18 is going to be Bacon Man 12 and Yuge. We'll hang out and keep watching One Up and Scurred, at least for a little bit. We might talk to some of our winners. I see Bacon Man's waiting. There's a lot of matches all going to happen one by one uh, over the next two hours or so as well. Oh, yeah. So we're kind of on a schedule, too. So, yes. Hello, Bacon Man. How you doing? Hello. That was pretty fun, to be honest. Yeah, it's a very fun-looking game once you get the feel of it. Yeah, man, that, that last boss, though, it's such a big hitbox on him. <laughs> it's a very large bird. But points just really camping you guys out. Yeah, when I, when I figured out how the rocks actually like spawned in with the, from the fireballs, I could like, okay, I I, I, I can see how this works. So we've been um, some some DK's King of Swing aficionados in the chat have clued us into the fact that um, you can sort of you don't have to charge up to like launch yourself. If you just are swinging around with one hand and then you let go, DK will kind of fling himself like a, f a fair bit. Yeah, I, I did notice that in some of the later levels I was in. It didn't really help me all that much throughout the whole race, but you know, it helped me out at, at times a little bit. Yuki's been using it really well um, in the, the back half of the race as well, I think was the first person to kind of realize you didn't have to always have a hand down and Skurd's now at the top of this tornado. You and... Just, you and Yuge both just kind of carefully launched yourself at the corner to just barely get on the platform at the top of the tornado. I'm not sure if there's an easier way. It just seems like there should be. I uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, we appreciated your um, avant-garde uh, switch moving technique. Oh yeah, those levers. We just gotta mash the other other shoulder button. Yeah. Just pump it. <laughs> it helps that I'm really fast at mashing. I mean, I guess you gotta be. It's, it looks pretty tight. Oh, Skirt's up there. Skirt's out. Moving on to the boss. So I'm I'm guessing you haven't played anything quite like this before. Uh no, not really, no. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there is really anything quite <laughs> like this. Like you've either <laughs> played this or you haven't. Yeah, seems like it. So when you get a game like this that you've never played anything like it before. It, like, are you scared, interested, excited? Is, you know, where are you at? Really, I always do the same plan. Just try to go fast, ignore everything. Just go. And with this game, it helps that there's like no like big game over mistakes. You just get sent back to the start of the level, which is like fine. And then in games like that, just go fast, go forward. Strat can actually work. Um, do you feel like you were ignoring stuff like, um, the bananas? Like, oh, when should I use my banana abilities? Should I go for more bananas? Or it, was this also something that you were just ignoring go fast? Pretty much. Anytime I saw I had 10 bananas, I healed myself. That was it. <laughs> right. It helped. <laughs> I was, since I was never, never really on full HP, so pretty much just always just, okay, heal. Yeah, it's a pretty hard game. All of you were plenty of damage taken, plenty of uh, of lives lost, game overs and stuff. Well, your strategy worked out. Congratulations. Thank you, you thank uh, you. You live to fight again in Mystery Tournament 18. Uh, we will not be hearing from Yuge. They don't have a microphone. Skirt and 1-Up are still going. Let me check in on the... It looks like... We have a game, but I think it's going to be a double. 
Yeah, maybe. And it looks like either way they're going to need someone to give a game. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do right now. So I guess we'll wrap up this interview. Um, oh, yeah. Um, congratulations. Thanks for joining us. Best of luck in your next race. Yep, all good. See ya. Or maybe Maurice is doing it. Maurice is doing it. I mean, he made the room, but he's also... Restraining. <laughs> Occupied. Seems like he's got it. All right, well, for at least a little bit longer, we've got Skirt and 1-Up. Can't complain. More of, more of Donkey Kong King of Swing is just good. Yeah, clearly they don't hate the game. They're, uh, they're not, it's not like they were, oh, I'm, I'm just on the boss, I need to finish it, you know? Like, they, they had two whole stages left in some cases, so... They're playing because they want to play this game. There's commitment here. <laughs> nice launch from 1-Up, the one hand to get right onto the edge. I can swear that 1-Up finished this and gained access to the boss stage. I think they did the minecart and then the cactus. And then they were in the cactus for a long time. Skirt in a bonus game. Time's running out. Go, go, go. Time is up. But plenty of bananas to show for it. And it didn't take that much time. We're just barely catching the bottommost corner. Oh no, you bounce off the wall. Whoa. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was close. That was close. Alright. Looks like Skirt can now go fight the fire, Nikki. It's charging up. I'm gonna this try to a, jump up and get that bird. This is a dangerous idea. <laughs> I mean, the last bird, the last boss was uh, just whacking him looked, in the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, he looked pretty tough, though. You know, like I wasn't totally sure that just running into him would do the job. Worth trying, I think, at least once. Oh. Had the, uh, the good sense to escape from the bird rather than wait to spin around and throw the rock. Nothing too terrible lost. Uh, except for some health there. Fortunately, I think you're going to be at one. Nope. Coming in back in at two. Good. I'm watching one up on this swingy hexagon just trying to figure out what the plan is okay catch the blue that's good enough no <laughs> this is Kurt is just kind of hoping this bird will leave them alone wow Makes nice it out easy Both of our remaining racers now on to fire Nucky. We had a, a pretty good vertical set of races. The two players on the left finishing less than a minute apart. You see how it goes for these right two racers. Sometimes you're just a little bit too short to grab the rock. The long and it throw. goes high. <laughs> seems like it's generally pretty good for the rocks to spawn up high. The bird seems to want to go low. I 
and if it does go high, it's like, so what? You know, you can, you just launch yourself away and then fall down to get away from it. Scourge has been immolated. Alright, so <clears throat> next race is getting set up. I think this is gonna be a while. It's because this boss is pretty hard. Or what do you think? Do you think they're gonna get it this try? No, Not this I... try, that's for sure. <laughs> Within maybe like 10 or 15. But it's a lot of tries. I think we, we should set up the tries. next race. We Let's do it. Should. GG's to one up. And, um,. God, when the name's not on screen, suddenly I, I freak out, and I don't even remember what I'm looking at. Uh, Skurd. Um, sadly eliminated from Mystery Tournament. Hey, how did that run? Wish them the best of luck in their future endeavors. Hopefully we'll see them again next year. I think we will. Particularly 1UP um, is pretty active, joins a lot of the races and stuff. But... We must go onwards. 